This document is describing the attack we went through with a friend. It happened to us in front of the Constitutional Court building. We both got battered really badly. There were four of them, four men. They started beating us and justified it with the fact that we were transgender. In order to afford hormone therapy and to be able to take care of ourselves, we transsexuals are often forced into prostitution because of discrimination. This one client we brought in took out his knife, threatened us that he'd kill us and started beating us. He still had the knife out and uh, he stabbed my friend. Then he started destroying all the property. It wasn't even our house, we rented it. There were precious statuettes, computers, mobile phones, etc. He destroyed everything and left. This document comes from the central headquarters of the police of the city. When did this happen? This happened last year. Can you recall your emotions? Oh no, I can't. If I recall it, then I'll go through it all again. No. I don't want to flee Armenia, because I have goals. I can't just live at the moment. I could ask asylum from some European countries, but I want to live in the same land I was born in. And I have to go through many struggles and face many risks to be able to stay. That's the worst part, because you don't know what may come. You may open the door and see a gun or a knife staring at your face, and even they can set the place on fire. Your neighbor may not like your sexual orientation or gender expression. And they can set the fire on your door. Exactly this happened to two friends of mine, Nikita and Laura. And how on earth I should cover such expenses? I'm only left with the option of facing courts and jail. Because there is no other option. This third document relates to my decision of undergoing breast surgery. I visited the doctor with my friend. They chased us away in a very humiliating way. They were like, how dared you to come to this institution called Izmirlian Medical Center which is under the patronage of the church, which is under the patronage of the church. So I can't go to any other hospital in Armenia either. First, because there are no competent professionals. Also, because they will refuse to do anything. I'm undergoing hormone therapy, but it's underground and I do it secretly for two years now. You can see the stamp of the police here again. It's now time for me to go through the gender reassignment surgery. I can't visit another hospital and get humiliated like that again. They were literally beating me up, that's why I called the police. Their main justification is that the hospital is under the patronage of Holy Miatsin, Armenian Apostolic Church. I can't visit other hospitals. In fact, there is no competent doctor. I didn't do any breast surgery, nor my sexual organs were modified, as there is no support in Armenia, no infrastructure, no funds, and no professionals.
Butch means like mm-hmm. lunch guy. Mm-hmm. After the case of Izmirlian Center, there were other attacks on me more recently, even in the street. I'm just fed up with this. There is no appropriate legislation either in Armenia. I have to buy hormones, but I can't afford it. I don't know what sort of person will come next to visit me and what will happen. I'm not sure what will tomorrow bring. That's why the best way is to get money through fundraising. Because I don't have those thousands of dollars to afford it. Nor any other transsexual person can afford that in Armenia. It's not like in some countries where you can undergo gender reassignment surgery and your government will pay for it. The state doesn't even provide you free medicine you need to sustain your life. Some people will literally die if they don't get their medicine. Literally. This is true misery and I don't know what to expect. I can't. Will someone ever ask where do transsexuals take money from to undergo those expensive hormone therapies? And when it comes to gender reassignment surgery, how will that happen? To whom the person should address? An embassy? Where to go? One will be forced to migrate, especially in Armenia and in the LGBT community in particular. Emigration is a huge problem and quite common nowadays. I don't want to become a migrant myself, but if one day I feel completely abandoned, hopeless and in grave danger, I will certainly ask for asylum with several friends by presenting this documentation. No doubt in that.